The more you understand how your brain works and how thoughts and emotions interact, the more control you can have over your thoughts and emotions. It's your brain. It's time for you to start controlling your own thoughts and emotions. So let's talk about how thoughts and feelings interact. We're going to break it down using a visual, the hand model. We're gonna use our hand for this. Your thumb, folding it in, is the middle of your brain, your amygdala. Your fingertips, folding it around, is your prefrontal cortex, the front of your brain. We'll come back to this in a second. Our amygdala is really important in serious situations. For example, if you see a fire, it alerts you into action. It cuts off access to your prefrontal cortex where you think and reason, which is great. You don't need to calculate just how long it will take for the house to burn down. You just need to move. Back to your hand. Your amygdala in the center, with the fingers curled around, flips the prefrontal cortex lid. Flip the lid. Try it with me. Put your thumb in the middle, hold your fingertips, and force your fingertips over with your thumb, the amygdala. This could save your life in the fire situation. So we need our amygdala, but here's the problem. Your amygdala makes mountains out of molehills. So when there isn't a fire, and just say a pop quiz, your amygdala may react the same and flip your lid when there's no need to. When your lid is flipped, that's when your thoughts and emotions become muddled. When this happens, it means your thoughts are driven by your amygdala and they are often distorted. This can fuel your worry or anxiety. So your lid is still flipped and you need your prefrontal cortex to perform well on that pop quiz. So you have to find a way to get the prefrontal cortex to come down so you can think and reason. Bringing your lid down is tough for all of us. We'll dive further into that next.